Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and today's topic of discussion is Partner Slayer. When you right-click a Slayer gem, you might notice there is a partner option that is basically never used. You can use this to partner with a friend and actually do Slayer together a little bit. As somebody who loves Slayer on the surface, this sounds pretty awesome. It's also a little nostalgic for me since I used to do Partner Slayer with my friends from school back in OG RuneScape. Unfortunately, it's not as great as it sounds for a few reasons. First, let's go over setting up Partner Slayer real quick. It's very easy. You can right-click on your gem, click Partner, and then when you try to add somebody, you just have to type their name in. As long as their private is on and their accept aid is on, they'll get a request. Once accepted, you guys are now partners. When you grab a new task, only the higher level Slayer player can grab one, and if they get a task that the other player cannot do, then that other player won't receive the task. But if they get a task that both of you can do, you both will get the same Slayer task. It's a bit of a downfall for Partner Slayer that only the higher level player can grab a task, honestly. I think it would be beneficial if the lower level guy could choose the task, giving a better chance that you both get the same task. Currently, there's a good chance, unless you and your friend happen to be the same level, that you're going to end up spending a lot of points to get a new task. The idea of having to spend extra points just to share a task with your friend doesn't really make this that appetizing, does it? Once you and your partner have managed to get the same Slayer task, you can head over to whatever you need to fight, and then completely ignore each other for the rest of the task. You may have been given the same Slayer task, but you're not sharing those kills at all. You each just have to complete your own separate Slayer task. For me, this kind of defeats the entire purpose of Partner Slayer. You're now just trying to ground out your own kills, basically working against each other if you're in the same room. How many times have you had to hop worlds because the room has people in your spot already and you need an open world? Now, imagine if you brought that competition with you. Really doesn't make much sense, right? You can still potentially share some loot that the two of you get, but this could be done without Partner Slayer. Partner Slayer isn't helping this at all. You could go fight anything with your friend and share the loot. I think it would be a huge add-on if they made it so that you could share a task, which is very possibly an engine issue for them, kind of like how they haven't been able to make Group Iron Man yet, though it has been announced. It's very possible that there's something not there for them to make it so you guys can actually share these tasks. Maybe there is hope for the future in Partner Slayer, but for now, I'll rant about what's wrong with it. First of all, if you both shared the monsters killed, then you would both finish the task at the same time. If you and your friend are different combat levels, then you might always find yourself waiting for the lower combat person, which is a waste of time for one of the two partners on every task. Even if you're similar level and you only finish your task like five kills ahead, it kind of blows to wait around for somebody else to get five kills just so you can go get a new task. It's kind of the opposite of Slayer, just watching somebody else fight. Sharing your KC would benefit both players in terms of the task speed, which could bring up some problems that I'll mention later. This is great for lower level players who normally would have to spend hours and hours and hours on a crappy task. You now get help from your higher level friend, and the higher level friend still gets the task done quicker, even though the lower level guy is not killing them fast, he's still getting some of those kills for you. A huge benefit of always being on the same Slayer task would be duo bossing. Normally only one guy on the boss task, if any, is able to get the Slayer task, so they're basically going to get all the drops, and often soloing would just end up being better for that person who's on task, unless they aren't splitting and it's just a free-for-all, which is stupid if one of you is on task and one of you isn't. I feel like this would encourage people to do more duo bossing, since it would be a lot easier for teams and for lower levels if they all had that Slayer bonus. I'm a big fan of solo bossing myself, but I do think the trend of solos being better than duos and whatnot has leaned a little bit too far, and overall group activities like this one are losing value quickly. There are a few benefits to sharing KC that might actually unbalance things in a bad way for Slayer. First one I want to talk about is the block list. At the moment, if your partner is given a task that you have blocked, you won't be given a task at all, similar if they were given a task that you don't have the Slayer level for yet. I do think it's very reasonable that if you look for a task and your partner has it blocked that you guys shouldn't be able to get that task, but that would basically mean we're doubling the size of your block list here. If each person has six different monsters blocked, and the Slayer Master were to check both of those lists, that's a little OP. There's a reason we only have a certain size on the block list. On the surface, having twice as much blocking power does sound pretty awesome, but there's no doubt it would be pretty OP for Slayer XP rates, and I'm not a huge fan of just bumping up XP rates for no reason. I think there's a couple solutions to this. First of all, you could just say no block tasks for partner Slayer, and then Slayer Masters would ignore the block list completely. This would be pretty unpopular, obviously, since you blocked those tasks for a reason, you don't really want to do them, but at the same time, at least you would have a friend to do them with and they would be a little quicker. Another option would be to only have half of your block list count towards partner Slayer, maybe the first three options on your list, 
Though this would mean they have to make a way for you to customize the order of the list. I guess they could instead put like a checkbox next to each blocked task and you can only fill in three of them. Any of the three that you have filled in wouldn't be possible to get for Partner Slayer. This way you still get the same amount of overall blocked tasks, just half from each player. And then there's a little communication involved with you and your partner. There's some teamwork actually going on. When it comes to skipping tasks, you currently both have to skip the task to get a new one since you can't get a new task if your partner still has one. I think this is the right way to do it in general, that way we don't cut the price of skipping tasks in half. It would be cool if your partner could just skip for you, but it starts to defeat the purpose of needing points to skip in the first place. We're just making it much cheaper. So if we're sharing KC, then what about the Slayer XP drops? I think the Slayer XP mechanics could stay the exact same as they are now. If you kill the monster, you get the full XP. If you and another person killed the monster, in this case your partner, you only get a fraction of the XP. I do not think it would be a good idea to share the XP on your partner's solo kills though. If one person kills the monster, they are the only ones to get XP, but the other person does get a kill knocked off of their task. If you both got XP for killing it, like if you just stood there and your friend killed the monster and you got XP, we would basically be getting double the normal XP rates for a task since you both could just go get solo separate monster kills and get an XP drop from both. Also, you could train Slayer without getting any combat XP or, or doing anything, really. This would not only mess with skiller accounts, which may only bug people with those accounts, but I hear you. This would also mean you could buy Slayer XP from other players. Basically, finding someone who's willing to grind Slayer for you, partner with them, stand around while they do the task and you get XP. This doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Not only should you not be able to buy Slayer XP, but even if I was okay with that, it shouldn't be from player to player like that. It, it would be a breeding ground for scams. All the other buyable skills, you just buy your supplies. So paying and receiving those supplies all happens in one transaction. In this case, you'd have to either pay the guy, then he does your Slayer, or he does the Slayer and then hope that you pay him. So I feel like a lot of people will get scammed in that way. And just in general, I do not think it's a good idea for you to be able to buy Slayer XP. So we should keep the Slayer XP drops separate. So when it comes to getting a drop from Partner Slayer, just like I said with XP, I think it makes the most sense that we could just keep the same system we'd have with any other duo PVM. If you do the most damage, you get the drop and the amount of money that you split should be between you and your partner. Some people like the idea of an automated system so that you don't get scammed from your buddy who just got a good drop, but that is a risk with any bossing in the game at the moment, not just possibly Partner Slayer. First off, you need better friends if they're scamming you, and if you don't have reliable friends for this, then you probably don't care much about the idea of Partner Slayer in the first place. Slayer points could possibly be unbalanced with Partner Slayer, unfortunately. First of all, if you have a partner, you can finish a task way faster than you normally would, and this means that you could grind out Slayer points much faster than normal. We could cut the Slayer points in half, or at least reduce them in some way if you're on a partnered task. That way you still get a similar amount of points per hour, we're not unbalancing anything. The problem here is going back to the idea of buying Slayer XP. In this case, you could buy Slayer points technically. It seems like an even worse path to go down than buying Slayer XP, even if you were just getting half the points. I'm not sure I like the idea of a GP to Slayer point ratio being out there. You could basically just pay some guy to do tasks for you, you could stand around, next thing you know you have a few hundred Slayer points to work with. My solution for both of these issues would be to make the points gained dependent on how many kills you got. So if you're doing a Konar task, a player normally gets 20 points. If each of you got exactly half the kills, you could each get 10 points. If one person did every single kill, they should get all 20 Slayer points, the other guy should get zero, and then obviously, you know, if it was three quarters of the kills, you get 15, whatever it is, you can round it off. This way, the faster person in the group is going to be rewarded accordingly, but you still can't buy Slayer points. This could be a bummer since I talked about earlier, both players have to skip a task, and if you're not sharing points, it kind of feels like skipping tasks costs twice as much. But if they put in a system where you share Slayer points, I don't see an issue with sharing the skipped tasks too. They would kind of balance each other out. So in other words, one person could spend 30 points to skip for both players, but they also only got half the points during that task, so it kind of evens out. I think the biggest issue with Partner Slayer having shared KCs might be people making Slayer alts. You could potentially get much faster Slayer gains than normal with an alt on your side if this wasn't balanced very well. I don't have a huge issue with it personally. If you take the time to make a high level alt and you're willing to play both at the same time, then yes, you should benefit from it. But I'm aware there is a balance for Slayer XP currently, and it's very possible to ruin that by just giving you a partner every single time. That's kind of the thing with any update though, there needs to be some balance to it. You can't just add benefits, it can't purely be good things, or else it would make older methods just obsolete, and that's how you end up getting to RS3 everybody. 
I've really not had a lot of discussions with anybody who's very passionate about this topic or at least has any ideas on it, which is part of the reason I wanted to make a discussion video out of it. I want to hear your opinion on the current setup of Partner Slayer and how they might be able to improve it. Normally, a good idea can only turn into a great idea if there's multiple minds on it, so if you have anything to say about this topic, please leave it in the comments section below. If we get a good enough discussion out of this, I'd definitely be willing to make a part two, but for the most part, these are all the ideas I had about Partner Slayer. In general, the only update I think it really needs is the fact that you guys can share KC, that way, if you were signed 150 monsters, you could each kill 75, and get out of there at the same time. I guess there's also some issues with not getting the same tasks as your partner, so things like not being able to get assigned something that both of you can't do wouldn't hurt. Maybe allowing the lower level player to grab a task could help out with that. As long as it was balanced pretty well after that, which is obviously easier said than done, I'm just some kid sitting in his chair, I'm not one of the developers, but with a good balance, I think this would be a really popular way to do Slayer. Thank you very much for watching this discussion video, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I do stream on Twitch, I am on Twitter, and I have a Discord, which all links are in the description, so be sure to go check those out. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and best of luck on your Slayer grind.